Teachers in your pocket, excellent resources on the website. Learn Mandarin with Chinese Pod. Hello, welcome. This is Chinese Pod. We're coming to you from Shanghai, China. We're bringing you a lesson in spoken Chinese, and today's lesson is a newbie. That is for absolute beginners. And、uh, my name is Kai, and I am Jenny. Oh,、uh, you are Jenny, and I am Ken, and it's good to be here. Now, today's lesson、uh, concerns、uh, the tricky issue of receipts. Yeah. How do you say receipt in Chinese, please? 发票，发票 What are the tones on that, please? I.、Uh, You must get this right. Yes. First and fourth. First and fourth. Why?、Mm. Why must we get it right? Well, everywhere you go, you ask for a <laughs>、okay. 发票 Okay.、Yeah. Okay. You it, need it's a, quite cultural. I'll tell you later if we good, have the time.、Good. Yeah. Yes. You need to get your 发票 right?、Mm. You really need to do that at times. Now, so in a second, we're going to have a dialogue about the 发票 and、yes. uh, it's very instructional today. So、yeah. why don't we sit、listen. back, listen, and we'll break it down for you in a few minutes. Dialogue, first time. 你买的东西一共是。八十五元，给你，请给我开发票。好的，开好了。这是你的发票，谢谢。Second time， 你买的东西一共是八十五元，给你，请给我开发票。好的，开好了。这是你的发票，谢谢。Third time， 你买的东西一共是八十五元，给你，请给我开发票。好的，开好了。这是你的发票，谢谢。Okay. I believe it's incumbent upon us to translate. Yes, it's、okay. tempting. <laughs> it's tempting to translate. It's always tempting to translate. Well, why don't we do it then? 你买的东西一共是八十五元 The total comes to eighty-five renminbi yuan. 你买的东西一共是八十五元。The total comes to eighty-five yuan renminbi. 你买的东西一共是八十五元。给你。Here you are. 给你。Here you are. 给你。请给我开发票。Could you give me a receipt, please? 请给我开发票。Could you please give me a receipt? 请给我开发票。好的，开好了。这是你的。发票。Okay, here is your receipt. 好的，开好了。这是你的发票。Okay, here's the receipt. 好的，开好了。这是你的发票。谢谢。Thanks. 谢谢。Thank you. 谢谢。All right. Now, very practical stuff here. Yeah,、today. and you said、Shopping. it. 
uh, with the same laziness and coldness <laughs> of a salesman. I'm sorry. Oh, that just comes naturally. I can, <laughs> I can assure you. The um, it, there's a lot of really interesting stuff in yeah. here, actually, very practical stuff. Now let's look at it because uh, you know we gave an idiomatic translation, but mm. uh, we got to be more specific about the words. Now again, uh, our, my suggestion to listeners, uh, to learners of Mandarin, is don't base your Mandarin sentences on 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 the expressions and the lexis that you would use in English. In other words, yeah. learn the f- sentences that are frequently used in Mandarin. Mm. They don't always, uh, they're not always based on exactly the yeah. same types of words and Otherwise, you end up um, with ingnis. There's something ingnis, <laughs> a mixture of English and Chinese that, that people uh, don't actually use in the yeah. spoken language. So let's look at some examples of that in this dialogue. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. Our first question is, how long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A, the rest of your life? B, you should already be an intermediate speaker? C, three months? Or D, Chinese Pod has an app? Uh, you should already be in. Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. So the first sentence was: "You're in, you're in the store or wherever it is. Mm. Uh, you've just spent eighty-five yuan renminbi on something, uh, and so uh, the, the sales the salesperson says to you, the total for that is eighty-five yuan. Now in Chinese, you're more likely to say, 你买的东西一共是 Yuan. Okay, now, 你买的东西 meaning the things, things. you purchase. Yes, so mm. 东西 meaning objects, things. things. Yes, yeah. 你买的 uh, the stuff you you you, you, you bought. bought or are mm. buying. Mm. 买 as in to to buy. To buy. Right? 买 third tone. Okay, 买的东西. Mm. So the stuff you're buying, literally translated, yeah. the stuff you're buying. 一共是, 一共是, now, 一共 meaning together. Total, yeah, together. All together. 一共 meaning all together. 是 mean is a verb to be. 八十五元. 一共是八十五元. Now, so the total 一共 together is mm. 85 yuan. Now, let's, let's practice that uh, in a couple of other uh, examples. Let's, if you want to say all together, it's 75 yuan. 一共是七十五元. 一共是七十五元. All together, it's 50 yuan. 一共是 if you want to ask how yes. much is the total, you can say 一共是多少钱? Yeah, so how much is that altogether? Great. Yeah. So one more time. So it, just say you ask the question. 一共是多少钱? Uh, the person working there would say again. 你买的东西一共是 八十五元. Great. So the total for the stuff you've bought is mm-hmm. uh, 85 yuan. Now, just this, this term yuan and renminbi, most foreigners use the term renminbi when you're in yeah. a store or something. Even if you're speaking in Chinese, it's quite common for them to say, you know, uh, it's 10 renminbi or 20 renminbi yeah. or whatever. But in fact... The authentic... Uh, yeah. Chinese people don't call it. is yuan. It's yuan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so meaning dollar. Uh, yeah. So you, 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 it's far more common to hear uh, Chinese speakers uh, mm, talk use about yuan, yuan and yeah. not renminbi. Yes. But of course, everybody understands renminbi. Yeah. Now, in, in the second expression here, which is again, uh, is useful. And let's look at the way uh, Chinese people use it. Now, in English, if you're handing something to someone, mm. you say, here you are. Yeah. Right. But in Chinese, you say, 给你. Gay ni. No, gay meaning to give. To give, yeah. 
I'm giving it to you. <laughs> yeah, give you. Literally translated, gave me. Uh, now again, uh, you know, if you translate directly from English, here you are. It's something like "need to judge" or something yeah, like that. It, it, it wouldn't it, make, it wouldn't make any, any sense. sense. Mm. So these are just idiomatic uh, ex- expressions again. Yeah. So remember, you're handing something to someone. You say "gave me." Yep. "Gave me." Great. Now you want to say, "Please, could you give me a receipt for that?" Please. How did we say that? "请给我." 开发票，请给我开发票。Now this is 给我 ，this is the same.、Mm. Give me, yeah. 请给我 ，meaning please, please give me. And then the essential item of today,、yes. 开发票。Good. Now 发票 meaning receipt,、yes. as we said,、mm. uh, and the verb to write a receipt is 开开。Hi. Okay. This word is so versatile. It's very versatile、yeah. in Chinese. To open,、uh, to open a book, to open a door, to switch on the lights. Yep, yeah, absolutely. All this word.、Uh, so maybe we could look at those in, in 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 just a second. So the verb to write a receipt here is. 开发票 So literally translated to open a receipt. Yeah. To、And、issue a to receipt. To issue a receipt. Yeah.、Mm. So when you're asking, you say. 请给我。开发票 Now, ah,、uh, so you've asked for the receipt. Yeah, and、uh, most likely you get your receipt.、Uh, That's why、okay. the salesperson simply answered, 好的，开好了，这是你的发票 Okay, now let's look at that. Lots of language here.、Mm. 好的 meaning that's fine. Okay, that's、yeah. okay, and it's really, really common. You know, you could also just say 好 mm. right? That's true. Ah,、uh, there's no difference, I believe, between just saying、no、好好的 ah,、uh, but very, very useful. So let's just hear that again a couple of times, please, Jenny. 好的，好的。Now 好，好 great. And and quite often people asking the question they'll say 好不好，好不好。You can say 好，好,好,好的。Yeah. Now, so 开好了。Yeah. 开好了。Here means uh the receipt is done. It's、I've、done.、Written. Yeah. 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 Now, 开好了 how again is the same how as in、yes. good, but it implies here that it's a done finished. deal. It's yeah, finished. It's finished. It's a completed、mm. action. Ah,、uh, so 好了 is indicates a completed action. It's、mm. very, very commonly、yeah. used. For example, people might ask you, 好了吗 Yep. Are you ready? Is yeah, it done? Is it done? Yeah, and, and you, you say, can answer 好了 Okay. So now you can contrast here 好的 with 好了 Yeah. 好的 means I agree. Yeah. That's fine. 好了 means it's done.、Um, yeah. I'm finished. Now anything, maybe you're you're fixing something for someone, or、mm. you, you 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 you've borrowed their computer and you're finished. Whatever you say, 好了、uh, I'm done.、Yeah. Thanks. I'm fine. Now,、um, so please,、uh, sorry. Here is your receipt, right? Yeah. 这是你的发票。这是你的。发票 Now, 发票 as we said, is receipt.、Mm. 你的发票 your, your receipt. receipt, and this is. 这是你的发票。这是你的发票。So literally translated, it's this, this is, is your, your 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 receipt.、Yeah. In English, you could use that as well, but it has a more formal kind of.、Mm. This is Almost, your receipt. Yeah,、uh, like a command. Yeah, yeah.、Um, so, it, it, but it's more common in, in Chinese. Just a nida. This is yours. And, or, and or, the English or, equivalent、yeah. would be here is your here receipt. Is. Yeah. yeah, here it is. And of course, you want to thank someone. Of course, you say. 谢谢。谢谢 Okay, now I think today's lesson was really was a good example of how、uh, we use in different languages how we we use different sort of frequency、yeah. expressions to indicate the same meaning, but、mm. don't literally translate or、yes. it, 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 some of it will, will be senseless. Okay, so shall we、uh, listen to our dialogue I, I one more time? I think that would be a great idea. 你买的东西。一共是八十五元，给你
，请给我开发票。好的，开好了。这是你的发票，谢谢。So I promised you I'll give you a cultural insight. Oh, please! Yeah, I love cultural piao. insights. Yeah. Why? First of all, why do you think fa piao is so important in China? Um, I, I think I'm going to let you explain that one, Jenny.、Mm. Why is fa piao so important? Well, obviously,、uh, first thing is that it gives you some kind of guarantee. Yes. If Especially when you've purchased yes, something and、yes. you want to return、yes. or change, correct? Yeah, and the other thing is,、uh, because we used to be a planned economy, <laughs> so、yeah. everything was pretty much public.、Yes. I mean, if you went out、um, to to buy things on、um, yes. business, you do and you while doing, yeah, especially doing work.、Yep. And you're doing it for、uh, professional reasons,、yes. then you always get the fa piao,、yes. so that you can get your purchase reimbursed,、yes. covered by、yes. your、uh, work units. Yes, <laughs> yes. So some interesting cultural history, some cultural、yeah. baggage there.、Mm. Um, yeah, from from a planned economy. Well, that's very interesting.、Um, so even in those days, they also used the fa piao. Yeah, because it was the system was kind of rigid back yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. So you have to have. Uh, black and white fapiao to pr- prove your yes, yeah yes, what you've been doing.、Yes. Wow, fascinating! Well, you get it all here in Chinese, but you get the culture, you get the history, you get the fapiao if you need one.、Mm. Um, I think that's it for today, though, Jenny. Yeah, do we have to、pleasure. go there? Yes. yes. Okay. Unfortunately. Well, we'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, you can、uh, drill down into this stuff on ChinesePod dot com, and you can get lots more too. So go、yes. there when you have time. But for now, it's time for us to say. 再见再见 As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www dot chinesepod dot com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero one two eight. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash zero one two eight, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash zero one two eight.